say he ain't gonna go for your game? From what I heard, the biggest thing about Sir Molly Johnson is his ego. Figure that, plus a lot of my dollars, and he'll try anything, legal or not. See, son, old legends never die. They just lose weight. Seems like legends and out of work bums. Look alike, Daddy. Sir Molly, me and my son are here. <laughs> oh, I love the suits. Big sailor, giant tiger. I came to see about you getting us some beer. You look legal. From the LC. Just what the hell you want, anyway? For you to get up from that hammock and accept a real challenge. I'm getting to Turo and back in four hours. That's no problem. It ain't never been done before, hot shit. Watch your language, little lady. No, the problem is Coors. Aside from being terrible, you take that east to Colchester. That's boo lady. I think you're a little bit scared. It's great psychology. Why don't you say something bad about my mother? Your mama's so ugly. Listen here. $80,000 if you do it. That's 20000 per hour if you make it in four hours. How about that for a challenge? Wait a minute. Why do you want that beer so bad? Because he's thirsty, dummy. We're having a barbecue. Want to have it in style. How much style? We'll have a few friends in me. Six bottles. Well? Well, let me see your cash. Big Flem's word is gold. All right, little, show him the cash. Let's see, there's six bottles of beer. I'll need the cash for that. No problem, go ahead, boy. New car, gotta have a new car to block for the truck. Go ahead, boy. Speedy car. I'd like to kick his ass just once. Speedier than that. Go ahead. Nope. Come on. Nope. $80,000. How much do you say? $80,000. Bye. Tongue. Here's your beer. Hey, there's only four. I did you a favor. <laughs> hey, how's your road trip? Surprisingly uneventful. Hello and welcome to International Taste Station. I'm Sir Molly Johnson. And I'm Patrick, Patrick O'Neill. And this week we're going to try a pair of original New York seltzers. Not a freezy. Kool-Aid powder. That's what it is! It's Kool-Aid. Cherry Kool-Aid powder. I just want to breathe it in, I don't want to taste it. So it's opening the hatch. That's how we lost four Smitties. Oh. It almost tastes like frosting. Taste. It almost smells like frosting, but not quite. It 
Nope. I think I think it retains the flavor more than than the uh, the black cherry, but unlike the black cherry, the the base pop I, I don't enjoy. Mm-hmm. The flavors there right at the start, and then it goes away. And when it goes away, it goes away sharply, and it becomes yeah tasteless. Oh, gross. My worry was I spied on the bottle that the full bottle, uh, if you can pass me the cherry, full bottle, stubby, cool. Um, Yeah, that's about the size of of a can. Is only uh, 90, 90 calories and 23 grams of sugar, which I think we can all agree it's pretty fucking low. Um, but it's not really low on the sugar, though. Overall, yeah, no, a, a can of Pepsi or something would be like forty some. But would you agree that that was still a sweet beverage? That's all right. Wasn't that sweet? No, but it wasn't like the bar experience where it's just a, a glass oh, full of tart no. and bitter. Um, you, you came in early with an observation that I, I've, I've made about previous things, which is it doesn't taste like it smells. That was, no, that was the, the black cherry. Not at all. Now, the vanilla one tasted like it smelled. But it smelled better than it tasted. Exactly. Yeah, because the, the black cherry, really great aroma, but the black cherry wasn't there at all, taste wise. Really. Smelled amazing though. Yeah. Kool Aid. Um, the vanilla did taste like vanilla, but it wore off really quick. It just like sort of quickly went into a disgusting taste. Yeah. It hit your tongue, tasted nice, stood immediately back. Um. So, grand champion of the week. If we must. Black cherry. Well, that's all this week for International Taste Station. Until next time, I'm Sir Molly Johnson. And I'm Patrick, Patrick O'Neill. Bye. So, have you seen Smoking the Bandit 3? There's a 3? Mm-hmm. Wait, do I know that? Maybe I do know that. Now, the third, for whatever reason, Burt Reynolds did not appear. Uh, now, I've okay. heard rumors that initially... Jackie Gleason was meant to play both the sheriff and bandit. Hmm, that it was been billed with the phrase, Smokey is the bandit. Um, this beer is shit. But, te- it is. Why so would they, you want to smuggle this across state lines? Seriously, just leave it the just fuck Just to get there. rid of it. 